Hello tout le monde, c'est Lélé, donc aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour un nouvel épisode sur euh, Life is Strange, donc on va commencer l'épisode 4 qui est sorti du coup il euh, n'y a pas longtemps, donc on va le commencer, euh, comme d'habitude si vous voyez que les vidéos sont tournées à la suite c'est normal, donc voilà, donc j'espère que vous m'en voulez pas trop, donc voilà, donc on va commencer l'épisode 4. Et je, apparemment, ce sera aussi riche en émotions que la fin de l'épisode 3. Donc, je suis impatiente de voir euh, qu'est-ce que ça nous réserve. Réalité alternative. Previously on Life is Strange. Wow. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. Dark room. That's it. C'est le nom de l'épisode. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Donc on avait vu que Chloé était handicapée. Je sais pas si on va continuer ça ou pas. Je sais pas si c'est vraiment la réalité ou est-ce qu'on va encore modifier l'histoire, on va revenir en arrière, je ne sais pas. Il y avait les baleines échouées aussi. C'était aussi merdique, je pense. Hein. Dark room. Ah ouais, j'ai pris une capture d'écran. Je sais plus comment on faisait pour prendre une capture d'écran. <rire> Bon bah si on continue la, la fin, enfin la, la réalité alternative. J'ai peur quand même, vraiment. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are though. 
J'essaie de prendre un screen pour le... Pour, euh, voilà. Et tu as même écrit sur ce cool parchment paper. C'est so max. C'est so prétentieux. Mais j'aime écrire sur ça comme un poète anglais. Tu as besoin de la meilleure stationnaire. Probablement plus facile d'écrire que de me visiter. Je ne dis pas ça dans une façon de way. Pas totalement. Tu as probablement voulu éviter des awkward conversations comme ça. Ah. Pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. I don't know if we can ask the question. I I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is... Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow, of course, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't. Feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place. It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No offense. None taken. Elle a quand même grave changé, hein. Je vous offense des personnes, mais je préférais quand même celle d'avant. Même si elle était euh, un petit peu euh, rebelle et tout. Celle-là, euh, je pense qu'elle doit encore plus souffrir. Hein. C'est juste que l'autre, elle voit pas les emmerdes qu'elle s'est foutue. Et, euh, et elle pense que elle a eu le pire alors que non, quoi. Elle a pas eu le pire. Que faire, Max Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. 
Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh, franchement, je pense que... Attends, je vais regarder un peu partout. There's the old Chloe. Voilà la Chloe que je connais. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. Bah ouais, je pense bien. It's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Miss Blue. Elle s'appelle Miss Blue. C'est obligé. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't... I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. J'avoue. Mais bon, c'est ça qui aurait arrivé. Snow globes are taking over. C'est ça qui se serait passé si il serait pas mort l'autre. De toute façon. Oh, snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hello Chloe. <laughs> She likes fluffy animals now. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Bears. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Oh putain. Je crois que c'était un, une blague anglaise. I know you're just trying to help. Uh, yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. <laughs> Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in any teen trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, 
The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Imagine that I bet this tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Okay. Bon. Vu quoi ici? Chercher. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Bongs, c'est quoi, vous croyez? C'est pas du shit ou un truc du genre? Aha, here's the DVD. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. <laughs> Je peux même pas la prendre en photo quoi. En même temps. Please quoi. Bon, lecteur DVD. On met le DVD. Bon, les gens, on va arrêter cet épisode-là, donc euh, j'espère que cette vidéo vous aura plu. Euh, on commence petit à petit euh, le, bah, la fin qu'on a vue dans l'épisode 3. J'espère qu'on pourra revenir en arrière quand même, parce que euh, personnellement, je, je me mets à la place de Chloé, j'aimerais pas être, euh, comment vous dire, dans un fauteuil. Je préfère faire des conneries, être dans la merde, de devoir rembourser des sous que d'être dans un fauteuil vraiment. Donc voilà. Donc j'espère que ça vous aura plu. N'hésitez pas à la commenter, à la partager, mettre des j'aime. Et puis d'ici là, prenez soin de vous. Bye bye